Hey, what's up everybody? Alright, so today what we're going to be doing here is taking a look at all the different bag designs for the MRE. And to my knowledge, I think I have them all right here. So this is not exactly going to be a ration review here. This is going to be more of an informational video. I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there at the beginning, just in case this isn't your type of video. I'll try to keep it short, sweet, and to the point. We're just going to dive right in here, and we're going to start with the first brown bag MRE. And you'll see the difference between this and the other brown bags here in just a second. All right, 1981, the MRE started. So from 1981 to 1987, this is what they look like. The bag design was exactly like this. There was no change in it from 1981 to 1987. You can see, pretty nondescript brown bag. Um, you got your menu numbers and basic information, who packed it, and what accessory packet is in it. And it also says meal ready to eat, individual. But yeah, all right. First bag gear design, pretty lightweight, pretty thin. So this is the first design of MRE. So then, in 1988, they started putting these big numbers on the sides of the bags to indicate which menu it was. Still only 12 menus. You can tell that the it's just a little bit thicker of an MRE. Um, kind of try to show that to you there a little bit. It's definitely a noticeable difference. It doesn't really feel a whole lot different in weight yet. But in 1993, in the brown bags, they started putting the flameless ration heater. So, but before then, I think it was 1990 or 91, they were handing out flameless ration heaters with the MREs. I know some guys got them, some guys didn't. I've heard stories of guys getting the flameless ration heaters handed to them with their MREs, getting three of them with their three meals for the day. Still remaining at 12 menus all the way until 1995. Also, another notable change in the brown bag up to 95 MREs was in 1990, the brown spoon like we know and we have today was added, was first added in 1990 to the MRE. Before then, it was the MCI style spoon. And also, this is kind of a rare thing right here, but uh, even on here, there's a date code. And it's not going to pick it up, but I'll just read it. It's 5269. This is actually a 1995 MRE, and this is a whole other type of bag style. We'll talk about that here in a second. But in 1996, they went to this style bag right here. And this was the main style of bag that they had from 1996 all the way until 2007. So in 1996... They actually started putting nutritional information on all the food items that they had in the MREs, which is, that's pretty cool to know. I mean, before then, you had no idea what kind of uh, nutritional information there was with your food items. And then in 1996, they, uh, they started doing that. Also in 1996, they went from 12 menus to 16 menus. And then in 1997, they jumped up to 20 menus. And in 1998, they went to the 24 menus like they have now. There's two cases, case A and B, and there's 12 per case. So there's uh, 12 different menus in each case. Before then, the cases had repeating menus, which is kind of an interesting thing to know because I, I actually wondered that for a long time until I seen uh, some case openings and some guys that had some 96s and 97s. Before we move on, we're going to talk a little bit about date codes. And this is a good example. You can see the date code on this bag right here really well. And it says 9042. And uh, we'll actually we'll open this up and look at some more date codes here in a minute. But I've got to say, from 1993 to 1998, the MRE had made some awesome improvement. From adding the FRH to literally doubling its menu options from 12 to 24. That's a huge improvement in that five year span right there. To be able to eat a hot meal anywhere without having to have a fire and also having 12 more menus to pick from. I mean, menu fatigue was a big issue. I mean, dating back clear to World War II, guys would get sick eating the same thing over and over. These things were not meant to be eaten for long periods of time, yet 
they still do end up getting eaten for longer than what they should. So Natick Food Labs is constantly working on improving the MRE. They add new food items to the menus all the time. There's actually 150 additional items on top of the 24 different entrees. So all together right now, you're looking at about 175 to 180 different items that they're putting into MREs. Now that's including drink mixes also. But that's still, that's a big leap from where they came when they started with the initial 12 menus. So before I move on to the newest bag style, I wanted to talk about this bag style right here. This is a more rare bag style. I don't, I don't see these very often. I just happen to know that this one right here was made in 1995. And this is the first tan bag MRE. And I've seen this bag design as late as 2004, uh, 2005 with this big word meal printed right here. And then you're ready to eat. But we're going to move on to the new bag style. The new bag style actually has three different designs. You see the two back here, and then here is the other bag design. So these three in the back right here are your, from 2008 to present day, this is what your MREs look like. So, there's where you're going to run into a problem. Sometimes they don't put a date code on the bags, so you're not going to know until you open it up. And usually there's only one company that I know that does the no date codes, and that's usually the Warnick Company. You know, Ameriqual has the stamped date code on the outside of the bag. Just want to go ahead and set this one on. Well, we'll set it back here for the looks. So from the first generation tan bag, we go to this modern style bag right here. I want to talk about the MRE cases a little bit. In 1996 to 1998, they started putting these little orange stickers on the cases. And if you watch some of my unboxings, you'll see those orange stickers on some of my cases. But those are actually, they're called TTIs. What I call them is a freshness indicator. And it has a larger outer circle and a smaller inner circle. If that inner circle is darker than the outer circle, then that means that 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 those MREs are getting close to their uh, to the end of their life expectancy. They're getting to the point to where they might not be, they're definitely not going to be as fresh as they were. Let's just put it that way. So another change that we can talk about that's a, a dead giveaway, if you're looking at buying MREs on eBay or Amazon or wherever, a dead giveaway, if you look at this bag back here, in 2013, they started adding French to the bags. You can see that right there. And right here, this MRE right here is from 2009. And as you notice, there's no French writing on it. So 2013 was the first year that they added the French to the bags. And it's always a dead giveaway to uh, what year you're looking at. So while we're talking about the cases and the freshness indicators and stuff, I just wanted to say if you guys are thinking about buying MREs on eBay or Amazon, Always ask the seller what year the date of production for your MREs are. A lot of times they'll try to give you the inspection date, which let's just use for instance a case of 2014's. The inspection date's 2017. So you think when they say, well, it's a 2017, and it says it on the case, well, that means that's when that case was supposed to be pulled and inspected at the factory or wherever the storage facility is and check for... Uh, you know, like mice and rat holes or you know, things like that or moisture getting to them, the boxes being damp or something like that in the storage facility. That does not mean that the MRE is at the end of its shelf life. That just means that it's in three years they're supposed to be inspected. Now your date of production is the date that you're going to want to pay attention to because that's what tells you the day that those MREs were packed into that case. The MREs were packed into the case they stamp the date on them, and that's how you know when those were packed. So your date of production is the date that you want to pay attention to on that. Another thing while I'm talking about it, as far as eBay and Amazon goes, I want to talk about what I think is a fair price for MREs, what I would normally give for an MRE. If it's a menu that you're really wanting and you're just buying a single MRE, okay, let's just use that for an instance because I know I look for uh, in particular MRE for about a year 
ended up paying like almost $15 for one MRE, which I think is uh, absolutely ridiculous to pay for one MRE. Your typical price for a case of fresh MREs, like 2016s, I would recommend you not pay any more than $70 shipped for that case. Or if you're going to buy individuals, I would recommend not paying any more than like $11 or $12 for an individual MRE. The reason I say that, I know that's a lot higher than if you were to buy a case, but you got to factor in shipping. Now shipping, it depends on where they're shipping it from in the country, but if it's coming from California, a flat rate's going to be their best option there most likely, and that's going to be like $7.35. So that puts you at paying just a little bit over $4 for your MRE, which is fine. I don't expect anyone to give them away for free, but I also don't expect anyone to charge an arm and a leg for them. There's no MRE in the world, in my opinion, if you're buying fresher MREs that's worth $20. Now, we'll get into some exceptions on price. For instance, like this corned beef hash right here. This is an MRE that I really wanted. They're not very common anymore because most of the time, this menu right here and the omelet got ripped open just for the oatmeal cookie bars in them. So, these are a lot more rare than a lot of the other menus and... In my opinion, that makes them worth a little bit more money. So paying up to maybe 20 bucks for one of these would be my maximum to pay for something like that. All right, so before I wrap this video up, I want to touch on date codes on individual items. I actually had this MRE donated by a viewer. His name's Jamie Hammond. Hey, buddy, I really appreciate it. Probably end up having this for dinner tonight. But uh, we'll start with the date code on the outside of the bag. So we know this style bag right here runs from 2008 to the present day. And our date code right here is 9042. So that means that this was made in 2009 on the 42nd day. Because obviously we're not to 2019 yet, so hopefully they'll change the bag styles before then. But even if they hadn't, we could tell because of the there's no French writing on this. So that places this before 2013. So we're going to go ahead and open up this MRE, and we're going to look at some of the individual date codes on the items inside. Now before I do that, I want to talk about this date code right here real quick. The 9042. Now if that was on the tan bag, like this right here, that would have meant that it was made on the 42nd day of 1999. But this one right here has an actual stamped date code on the back of it of 5335. So that means that this was made on the 335th day of 2005. You're going to say, okay, well, why was it 05? Well, they only ran this bag style from 1996. So that takes it out of contingence to be in 1995 to 2007. So has to be a 2005. There's no other date that this could possibly be. So that covers this. Now the brown bags. Telling your date codes on them. Same exact kind of deal. Um, I'll use this one as a for instance because I know it has the date code. Since we've got our big numbers printed for the menu. Right here we have a date code. And you're not going to be able to see this one. It says 2276. That means it was made on the 276th day of 1992. Now, we know that because of the big numbers printed on it. It cannot be a 1982 because it would have looked like this with no big numbers printed on it. So now that we've covered date codes like that, how you read your date codes is going to, de it's going to depend on your bag style. And that's going to give you a general idea of what decade it is from, basically. We're going to open it up. We'll just look at some date codes on some things inside. Because generally, most of your items inside your MREs are going to have date codes. Now, if you get back into these, I've actually had an MRE from 1981. And the only thing that had a date code on it in 1981 was the main entree. And that was the only way I could tell what year that MRE was. Now we'll go ahead and open this up. And this was made by Ameriqual. Got your inner bag here. And inside, 
We have a date stamp on our bag right here of 9042, same as on our outer bag, which is good. That means it was packed in this bag and the big bag in the same day. And then, uh, of course, you have your date codes and stuff like that on everything inside. You got your hot beverage bag, which I believe that started in 2000, late 2005, early 2006 for your hot beverage bags. But yeah, that's how you read your date codes on your items inside. This one right here was made on the 12th day of 2009. So before we go, I actually got this one from Sticky Fingers, and this is a first year of the new bag style. Made on the 319th day of 2008. And I've never actually seen another bag type like this. It's hard for me to pick it up on camera. But this is the thickest plastic I've ever seen. And it's kind of translucent, as you can see. You can see my hand through the shadow of the bag. It's kind of odd, but it's very, very thick durable plastic on this one just thought that was kind of neat so well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this information was helpful and if you guys have any questions please ask me down in the comments section don't forget to hit that like if you like the video comment subscribe if you guys would share this stuff on social media that would be awesome uh reddit um Twitter, anything like that, share the videos, Facebook. Um, I'm not very good with the social media thing, so uh, any help there would be amazing. Well, all right, everybody. I guess I'll see you on the next ration review. Later. I just wanted to say real quick, um, just a little bonus at the end of the video here. If you guys need any other information pertaining to MREs and a lot of foreign rations and stuff like that, MREinfo.com has an amazing array of information uh, dating back clear back to uh, World War II rations. I mean, tons and tons of information over there, but a lot of information about MREs over there. All the menu lists so you can see exactly what's in each one. I just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there. Check out MREinfo.com. If you got any questions, uh, I'll be happy to answer them, but yeah. Check that website out because they they definitely uh, they got more information on it than I do. All right, guys. Well, just wanted to throw that in there. Later.